Now I'm working on a very interesting project. We are trying to model meaning in the Russian language using the quantum semantics approach, where we help the computer understand different meanings of a word if they exist. This is going to be my master thesis for the Big Data Analytics and Artificial Intelligence Master's program. That's the kind of innovative program. And we suggested our program as project oriented. We reverse the process. We ask students to do project at first. When they try to do some project, they're trying to look what the knowledge they need. And after that, they request that knowledge from teachers. And that is the main idea of our educational process. We use Twitter, Facebook. When you tweet something, we have hundreds of tweets, hundreds of millions of tweets every day. So that is big data. When you are moving to terabytes of data, when you move into terabytes of RAM to store the, the data, that's when the big data comes. Psychology, biology, we are talking about DNA, geophysics, everywhere people can use big data analytics. This master program is very nice. It is a combination of big data analytics and AI. Artificial intelligence now, it is not a fantastical fiction. It is a computer systems for decision making. Many, many, many different fields, many different disciplines that are combined in one huge word, artificial intelligence. This course is a mix of both theory and practice. First year, we have some deep understanding of business problems and scientific methods. And the second year is for scaling of business idea or scientific idea to apply to different domains. You never could find the good big books. You need to go on with experts. You need to go on with real people that work in the industry. In our program, we have close partnerships with different companies. When we work with these companies, we will get to learn a lot of things. For my scientific project, I'm working on sentiment analysis based on social media text. People publish on Facebook, Twitter or other social media. And it consists of taking this short text and classifying it by positive, negative or neutral emotions. And all of this is done for my native language, that is Spanish. To enter, uh, students should have strong motivation to be data scientists. Second, to have bachelor degree in some area, mechanical engineering or economy or mathematics. I studied statistics in India and then I came to NSU. I did a business management bachelor in my hometown, Cali, Colombia. Before I came here, initially I was in Zimbabwe, my country. There are 15 persons every year that are concentrated on doing some real stuff, some real things that could move your head. It is very easy to communicate. It's like a multicultural group. Being with so many different kinds of people, that is also very, enhances my abilities to study. All our classes are related to getting the experience that our professors have in from them to us. Knowledge they are teaching is the knowledge they are applying like on their work. The professor can see that the student is really motivated, so he can like advise the student to his company to hire, for example. 
by luck. Then I, I got contacted by a teacher from previous semester and he told me he was looking for someone to work with him as business analyst. Now I'm working with him since Technopark. For studies, I'm working on silent speech recognition. It's like Google Assistant with mind reading. A person just thinks about text and it appears on the screen. In my case, signal is muscular activity called electromyography, recorded on the surface of face. This has got very good career opportunities. I will gain essential knowledge how to implement artificial intelligence in real life. All the big companies like Google, Amazon, Walmart, and Yandex, they all need for AI specialists because they want to improve their services. You can find a job there. Or if you want to stay in academia, you can get a PhD. A lot of choices, a lot of ways to go. I wish to go there specifically the banking section. An ideal job for me would be that of a data scientist. It's like a wide encompassing field. I want to stay here in Russia. This opportunity that I have now to of working with my one of my teachers, it's really interesting because he has a lot of contacts and a lot of interesting contracts from clients around the world. So if it's possible for me to be able to stay in this country and keep working for him or some type of company like that. Academ Gorodok, I think, is the perfect place for students. It has a special atmosphere. I don't know how to describe it. Beautiful campus, the new campus. In the summers, it gets very green. In the summer months, you can maybe cycle to nearby places, and uh, you can go to the, there's a small lake as well nearby where you can see all the birds. We have a lot of institutions here in Akadem Grodok and all doors are open. So. Here you could go inside of any institution and you would enter and you see that in the room there is sitting the person that could tell you things that almost nobody in the world could know at all and he would easily tell you everything. Akadem Gorodok is, is really friendly, it's a wonderful place. You should come here and find your magic of Akadem Gorodok. <laughs> I'm working on an optimization problem in oil fields using artificial neural networks. The main objective is to measure the connection between water injection rates and uh, oil ejection rates using deep neural networks. Big data analytics at NSU is related and more relevant to the world that we are living right now. You're not falling behind, you're not staying in the old generations. You're always in the cutting edge of, of the developments. I think that now I have become a very good data scientist. If I can get a good diploma from NSU with good grades, I will be accepted anywhere. <laughs>